Hey guys, here's a really lovely little demo of confection that I show in class a lot. You've probably noticed when you have tinsel up at Christmas that if it's above it kind of wiggles a little bit or if you have one of these lovely little uh, butterfly charms that it goes round or if you have a spiral above a candle or a hot light bulb that it goes round but the question is why does it go round? So there I've just lit the candle underneath and you can see that it's starting to go round and this is all due to convection. Now convection works because of the particles that are down here, so the air that is just above the um, candle starts to get hotter, it starts to vibrate more, it gets less dense. And when it gets less dense, it rises up to the top and then more dense air can come in at the bottom. When it gets to the top, it's not being heated anymore, so it has less energy, so it just falls back down to the bottom again. And we have set up a convection current. Now convection is quite complicated if you think about it, but I'm going to do lots of videos to explain it. All you need to know is that the particles that are down at the bottom get heated up, they vibrate more, they have more energy so that they can um, bump into other particles, the gaps between the particles increase, they vibrate um, into each other, they get less dense. When they are less dense, they rise up to the top more dense particles come in at the bottom, so cold air comes in at the bottom to take the place of this hot air that has risen up to the top. When the hot air is here at the top, nothing's heating it up anymore, so it gets gradually less hot. As it's getting less hot, the particles stop vibrating as much, they stop bumping into each other as much, so the gaps between the particles decreases it becomes more dense and it sinks back down to the bottom where it can get heated up again causing a convection current so this can happen in this situation here it can happen in the mantle of earth which causes the movement of the tectonic plates it can happen um uh, the boundary between sea and land. It's also happening in your house, in your hot water tank if you have one, when you're boiling things in a saucepan, or if the, you've got radiators, that's how the heat travels around your house. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you want to say thank you, or if you want access to my online classroom priority video requests, or to see all the books I'm publishing, you can pop over to Conos or keep up to date with everything on my website. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. And if you follow me on Twitter or like me on Facebook, you'll get all the updates there. Thanks for watching guys. I really hope you found this helpful. Anything else you need, any other help you need, just let me know below.